This is a delicious South African street food stew. It's known as bunny choy. Aromatic spices, meat, tomatoes, potatoes, all served up in a loaf of bread. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel today. I'm going to do a South African classic. I'm going to do bunny choy. Now, it's a curry from South Africa, but it doesn't really taste like a curry. It's got the curry ingredients, influence from the Indians in there into Durban. It's a Durban classic, but it's a bit like a, a stew with a few spices. Now, I'm using beef today. Traditionally, they use lamb. You can use chicken, you can use beef. I'm using beef. Let's show you how to do it right now. So I've got beef chuck and I've cubed it up. We've got some potatoes and I've cubed those up as well. I've got a, a tin of chopped tomatoes, a tablespoon of tomato puree, and our spices are Kashmiri chili, garam masala, and mixed powder. A little bit of coriander, which is optional, some green chilies, curry leaves, and some hard spices, cinnamon, bay leaf, fennel seeds, cumin seeds, star anise. I've got some frozen peas for colour. All we got to do is smash these chilies open, put to one side and we can do our bread. So our loaf of bread, we want to be taking the top off and then we want to be running a knife round. We want to be cutting out the middle. Be careful with your fingers. You've got to sort of like turn the knife over on the inside so it cuts inside and then we can pull out the center. Don't throw the center away. We're going to use that. We're going to eat with it. All you got to do is clean out the, the bread the, as much as you can get out because that's going to be our bowl to put our curry in. Put that center piece of bread back in, put the lid on, put to one side, then the bread doesn't dry out while we cook our curry. Now the curry is going to take about an hour and 20 minutes to cook actually. So flame on, pan on, usual, oil in and some ghee. Get it in there and then we'll warm it up and what we're going to do, we're going to chuck in our hard spices. Cinnamon in, bay leaf in, star anise in, then we're going in with our cumin and fennel seeds. Now you can use cardamoms in there if you want. You know, I've, I've tried it with cardamoms and I'm not too bothered. In with some garlic and ginger, give it all a whiz around. Cook out the aroma of the garlic and ginger. Now we don't want to brown this off because obviously if we brown it off it's going to be bitter. And then in with our green chilies, get the green chilies in there, followed by our beef. Turn it all over in the pan. Coat up our beef and start to sear it, sear it off. Sear it off with that garlic and those spices. Now we're not trying to brown it, we're just trying to sear it off in the spices. A touch of salt, a bit of black pepper. Just give it all a mix in, make sure it's all coated in there. And just start to cook it, nice and gently. Turn it over, try and sear it up on all sides. And then what we do is we've got to clear the space in there because we want to use the oil that we've got in to bloom our spices. So in with our dried spices, in that oil and then we need to stir it round so they bloom in there properly. We need to cook out the aromatics of these spices. Once we've cooked out a little bit in there, use the oil, we can stir it into the beef. Cut up our beef and carry on cooking. So get that beef coated up in all those spices. Oh, the smell in this pan is amazing. In with our curry leaves. Stir them all in. Get everything incorporated in there. Now 
and then we're going in with our onion paste. Now don't forget there's a link to the onion paste in the description. In fact, in the description there's a full list of ingredients so you can read them all at your leisure. So stir it all in there. Now normally what they would do, they would chop up onions and put cubed up onions in here, but we've already got the onion paste so it makes it a little bit easy for us. Stir it all in. Just cook it a little bit. Don't forget the onion paste is already cooked. In with a tomato puree. Now not much tomato puree for this because we're going in with a can of tomatoes. Now normally they would use fresh tomatoes all chopped up. But we're going to make it a little bit of convenience. We're just going to chuck in the chopped up tin tomatoes. Or we can use the juice then as well. Now we will be adding a, some sugar a little bit later because this tomatoes is going to be a little bit sour. We need to put some water in there because it's a stew really and what we need to do we need to cook this for about 20 minutes until the beef starts to go a little bit tender and in 20 minutes we'll take out the hard spices. So put a lid on and all we've got to do in the 20 minutes just give it a little occasional stir. We don't want anything to burn. In with some sugar, get a little bit of sugar in there, stir it all in. That's going to give us a little bit of sweetness against that tomato sourness. And then what we've got to do, we've got to fish out those hard spices. You know, if not, it's going to end up with some weird medicinal curry flavour. And it's not really a curry, it's a stew. So get out the hard spices. Give it a stir around. A little bit more water. And now what we're going to do, we're just going to cook this for about another 20 minutes. Chuck in your coriander, stir it all in. Put your lid on. 20 minutes time, we're going in with the potatoes. Bob your potatoes in, stir them all in, get them all under there. We need to start cooking them down in there. Lid back on, about another 20 minutes. In that time we can make up a lovely carrot pickle. So brown sugar in a bowl, about one and a half tablespoons of apple cider vinegar and grate some carrot. Get it all in there, mix it all up, and we've got a pickled carrot to go on the side of our curry. And this is a bit traditional, actually. So stir it all in, and that is our pickled carrot. Done. Oh, just look at that curry. That looks fantastic. Now I'm going in with some peas. Now peas are optional, but you know in South Africa they put peas in or chickpeas or anything. You know, but I like the peas in there. The peas give it a little bit of contrasting colour. Put that little bit of green in there. And we only got to cook it for about five minutes and it's done. So what we have to do now is get it off the flame and we've got to serve it up. So take out the middle of that bread and we are going to fill the bread with our curry. Fill the bread with the curry. And put that carrot pickle on the front of there. Dip in that, that bread in, back in the pan. And that will be our bunny choy made. That looks fantastic. Mm. 
That is one amazing curry. But it's not really curry. So I'm calling it a curry, but that is one amazing beef stew in a loaf of bread with curry spices. And that's what it tastes like, to be quite honest. So that's my tribute to South Africa. That's bunny choy made properly. We've got that fantastic sweet pickle carrot there and this curry in here. Oh. Oh, that beef just melts in your mouth. Mm. That is delicious. We've got a big lump of bread that we took out of the middle. Let's get that in there. Mm. That is bunny chow made. Now, if you like what we're doing, don't forget, smash that like and subscribe, share with your friends, all that kind of stuff. Catch you in the next video.